Hey guys, welcome back. It's Grim Reaper calling at you for another video for Ray Shadows. Today we have a great video ready to go. Hopefully, you guys are having a great C vs C and a strong C vs C. I've been waiting to do a champion guide on this champion for so so long, and we finally got to it today. So I am generally looking forward to show you this today. Um, hopefully, you guys have a great new year. Hopefully, you guys are uh, looking strong for 2024 positive and your new year's revolutions i want to hear from you guys what is your new year's revolutions lay them down in the comments ag if you're watching this i know that you're free to play so uh that will probably last a week maybe until there's a new shard pack out um for me personally my uh, new year's revolution is to eat more healthy be more healthy stay consistent with um with uh being a uh, being a content and stuff like that um i think generally is to get back in the gym and get fit again uh, and lose some weight uh, i will keep people progressed in my discord and uh do january dry obviously the same as last year but i don't think january dry is that that bothering anyway let's get into today's video so i've got a champion showcase and we're going to do it on this one and only champion now i'm not going to take him in all the areas of the game today i'm only going to really show him in hydra and i have a new hydra personal best down to his champion and as you could probably suffered i did to get iron gut in hydra so uh sorry in the last two times void event and this has improved my damage by significantly amount of uh, damage so i'm really happy with this i have a new personal best so stick around i will link the uh chapters down below so you guys can watch it um so we're gonna go for his kit attacks one enemies places a shield on all allies set this champion for one turn he has uh, the value of the shield is a proportion of this champion's defense so that is a really strong ability and it has good multipliers as well so defend the wall i think this guy looks absolutely beast i've needed a new uh p versus e champion for a while same as a p versus p champion really so he inflicts more damage and shields by 10 percent for each book this is where he makes his bread and butter really he attacks all enemies he heals his champion by 10 percent of the uh damage dealt it's a huge heal it increases the duration of all buffs on all allies by one turn this is on the three turn cooldown so it's a really good with a reflex or relentless and uh, on and, and on the a3 is a great ability as well attacks one enemy it has 100 chance landing the decrease defense sorry um to bob a uh, provoke uh, aoe this is going to be on a free turn cooldown with increased resistance and increased defense uh on all allies so that is really really cool and a really really strong ability especially within hydra increased resistance is generally unlooked at we didn't really build the team around the increased defense but it is what it is. We paired him with Chris anyway, so we could have took full note of it. This is just the cream of the crop and the extra bit on the top. Uh, this wall won't fall. Whenever this champion is attacked, heals or allies, set this champion by 70% of the damage received. Only heals 30% 5% of the damage received from boss attacks. This effect has no cooldown. This is amazing against Wrath. This is amazing against Tormund which are the two hardest hitting heads in Hydra. Blazes a killable buff on his champion for one turn if he receives a fatal hit, which you'll see in this run that I do proc uh, one or two times. So he has a increased defense uh, as well in all battles by 33. It can be slightly annoying in overall content, uh, especially in arena. He's defense based, so he's got good survivability as well um so really i want to kind of just show you what he can do and stuff like that so we're gonna get into hydro run i am gonna speed us up uh quite a bit enjoy the music and i'll see you after this i'm gonna talk about gears tips and tricks to use with him uh, and stuff like that be right back
Okay, so here is the damage, here is the final comp, and this is what we're doing. We have Sifi with 1 mil damage, we have uh, Chris with 11 mil damage, 2 hack uh, coming in with 7.7 .7 million, uh, Mishkati coming in with 65 million, G not coming in with just a 55 million, quite a few weak affinity heads here, and uh, then Iron Gut coming in with 77.7 .7 million. So he is now my best DPS in Hydra by far. Before this, it was Mishiati, and before I was running his team, it was a Royal Guard. Now, my uh, personal best has only gone up by like 13, 14 million on my account. I've had higher than this on takeovers, but generally, this is a massive improvement because of before this, I was running a full relented, relentless with two piece refresh uh, Royal Guard. And his damage was insane and he was always great he had like 300 critical damage this guy has done 30 million more you know his aoe nuke to be fair is on a three turn cooldown and royal guards on a four turn cooldown and then you've got the kind of got situation is iron gut doesn't uh weak it he's a void and also he's defense based so he's staying alive much 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 longer and obviously being a legendary as well that helps you understand that his gear is not as strong this is my person best personal best damage right now so uh bear in mind i don't think i got great rng on this run and stuff like that but you can see that two hack has got more damage before chris has got more damage before and you see michiati has got quite a bit of damage before so you know if you compare them seven million damage G coming in with another 7 million damage. So tank, <clears throat> I generally think that this comp could do 240, 250 with really good RNG. Uh, I don't feel like my timings and stuff like that was kind of off. So it wasn't perfect at all. So this is something that I want to kind of point out to you guys. It wasn't one minute, one hour and 20, 21 minute run. I'm really happy this my personal best. So this really, really smashes my... Um, hydra crash kind of thing you know like uh, i was always up there around about 1.2 billion uh ish but now i'm sitting on 1.2 uh 1.3 billion with just two keys so as you can see this is my hard key we're coming in at 473 million and then we have a whopping 88.6 million which bear in mind i don't have supreme gaelic i don't have the or whatever her name is uh so that's something to kind of bear in mind this is probably the personal best that i've ever done in hydra right now as you can see there's a charisma in there fully awakened 130 million damage so if i had her to replace my gina i'm doing another 60 70 million damage anyway so that's something to kind of bear in mind i do have a four star blessing in my vault waiting for her i don't think i'll ever get one so I mean, I wouldn't complain with a Supreme Gaelic either, so I could probably make him quite uh, va va voom with my gear. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and show you the gear and stuff like that. Uh, there isn't no really presets to worry about, and I'm going to show you any uh, gear on any of us because I've shown them so many times. As you can see, it's a relentless piece, and I'm going to go over a few things with my kit because of my the way my, my team is sitting and built. Uh, so at, at the moment what I want is I want Chris to be the slowest in my comp uh, Let me go ahead and put on the bonuses from the Great Hall uh, So as you can see I've got 6 speed extra so we're coming in at 4,292 defense 44,000 HP would like more HP but a blessing can come 100% critical rate which is important We have 285 critical damage of Great Hall I will try and push that towards the 300 in the future we have got ignore ten percent dean faith the uh defense as well, which again will come up to I think about thirty percent once it's done and max, which will actually add a lot of damage as well. Now, bearing in mind I've built no accuracy, he does do a AoE provoke, but I do have Chris in that team who has a AoE provoke. I have a Mishkati who is in a um provoke set as well, so. If you don't know, if you got a hex, if uh, if the debuffs, if DK is under hex, you will just keep counter attacking. If you keep hitting DK, that's what you'll see in the in the recording when I'm hitting DK all the time, just to see to get him to do the count the uh, 
Um, I can't attack to keep putting under provoke. So uh, he's probably the most best champion in this game by far, other than Mighty Yugo and the other, you know, AoE hitters like uh, um, I don't know what's his name, Nekmo and stuff like that. So yeah, um, that's why we didn't build any accuracy. So that's what I kind of went with. We do have uh, defense with accuracy ascended. We have critical damage, critical damage. And then defense with uh, defense. Now I can have a better ring by far. Uh, but I am looking for a better um, refresh ring. So and then we got speed boots with speed substat. With critical rate, critical damage, defense. Uh, we got defense chest with a critical rate and accuracy. And we have critical damage with ascended critical rate and critical rate and defense of stat, which is very important. Triple speed with critical damage, critical rate. And then we have a double, triple critical damage with speed. And then we have a double speed with critical rate and critical damage. So there you are. The, the stats are still got to be improved by bearing in mind by quite a bit. But bearing in mind, there isn't really any mastery in here that does defense and extra critical damage so i'm actually thinking if i want to critical damage it's going to have to be falling of wrath uh as a as a blessing let me know down below because i feel like i need more hp on him anyway so i generally think that this is where i'd probably go if i was to get a blessing i'm not really too bothered if i get a blessing you could go with cruelty as well just to try and reduce the defense but this will give you attack and hp and critical damage so it's something i'm kind of thinking about um so there you are guys there is build hopefully that is it for you guys let me just go over the masteries quickly we do have cycle of violence which is really important uh to be honest i kind of screwed up on the support side it should just come in for uh well to be honest you don't want retribution because you don't want to do allied you don't want to attack when it's fear so i'd probably just leave that blank uh anyway cycle of violence really important to get around and war master as well light drinker is useful for the a1 but not really needed as well so that's something to kind of take in mind i didn't read his kit properly so they're not the best masteries if you want to see some better masteries uh join my discord and i'll do you some better masteries so uh, there you are that's why you should always pay attention and anyway guys uh i think that's it from me for today Hopefully you like this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Help support the channel. Helps me to keep doing takeovers and helping the community best I can and know how to I can. If you want to see some live arena action, come and check my uh, Twitch channel out, Grim Reaper TV Raid. I'll leave the link below where we do uh, live arena takeovers and my own live arena, trying to push my way into the top 800 and be a little bit more consistent. And also, just one last thing, you can see that I have won a tournament event. So I'm really happy with that. He hasn't got any gear on at the moment because that's been used in Hydra. So that is it. Hopefully you guys have a great C. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. I've been Grim Reaper. Peace.